What was a year that looked like it was cursed? We battle back. We finish the regular season at 10 and 2. We win the conference championship over Memphis to move up to 11 and 2. And the question is now, what is our destiny in terms of bowl games? It is still showing us as projected to be a part of the Fiesta Bowl. It previously had us lined up against Bama. We still have to be happy with the progress that we've made. It has been two incredible seasons back to back. While we will lose more senior talent, we still have a very good team depending on potential departures. Red shirts who might get mad that they were in fact sat out. Our head coach is up to level 12. And if that doesn't sum up our season of so close, yet so far. Ocean Gate missed two games due to injury and misses out on the Heisman by less than 50 votes with Penn State's quarterback. Two missed games away from a transfer winning the Heisman in his senior year. We are heading to the Rose Bowl, where we will play number 24, Rutgers. I don't know how to feel about anything that just happened in the last minute. It will not be the national title game. It'll be Rutgers at the Rose Bowl. Oh no, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck, has won the Chuck Bednarik. Oh god, oh no, oh shit, oh fuck, has won the Bronco Nagurski Award. Oh god, oh no, oh shit, oh fuck, has won the Vince Lombardi Award. King Tuki the fourth has won the Butkus. As we get ready to head to the Rose Bowl. A couple of things to take care of before then. First and foremost, the skill tree. It makes all the sense in the world to do the off-season recruitment points because we're about to head to the off-season. So we'll do that and then reset the tree. Um, you know, taking a look at job security here, uh, surprise, surprise, 100% more than safe at this stage is White Fat Rock. Again, last season we won a conference championship and a bowl game. This year we will have at least one more, if not two more, losses than last year. But it's been an immense turnaround after the struggle bust first three seasons. The national title game will be Fresno State and Wisconsin. Fresno State and Wisconsin for the national title. Orange Bowl ends up being Miami and Alabama. Cotton Bowl ends up being Penn State and Colorado. Sugar Bowl is Cincinnati and Georgia. And Syracuse draws Illinois in the Fiesta Bowl. I would, I would kill to be playing Syracuse. I don't know why we're not playing Syracuse. I have no idea why it was projecting us for the Fiesta Bowl and then it gave it to Syracuse, but that's infuriating. I would have loved that rematch against Syracuse so much. Instead, we draw the 24th ranked team in Rutgers. Annoying. Annoying. Well, Tonka, we're nowhere near done with it, so, you know. When the new one comes out, you know, I'll be all over that. 
terms of the award winners, Ocean Gate finished fifth for the Maxwell as uh, essentially top offensive player. I mean, it's quarterback, running back. The Walter Camp, he finished third. The Bednarik, we had the top four. Always racking up those defensive awards. We had the top two for the Nagurski. All hands on deck. A former player of ours that transferred out to San Jose State finished fifth. Son of a bitch. Isn't the Rose Bowl better than the Fiesta Bowl? Yeah, but still, I would have preferred to play Syracuse. That's my big issue. Ocean Gate finished as the second best running back, even though he was second for the Heisman. Figure that out. Doesn't look like we'll have any other awards from there. Nope, that's a lie. The Lombardi, we had the top two. The Butkus, we had the top two. Got to let me dry to boat. It was a defensive end. We moved him to linebacker. No other awards to speak of, but quite a bit of hardware went our way. In terms of the All-Americans, Ocean Gate Submarine as the second choice running back. Oh no, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. Armor Abs Crabs and Numb Legs the second. Let me dry to boat. King Toogie the fourth. Forrest Gump. Tremendous. The freshman team. I don't know if we'll have any representation there. Uh, we do. Middle linebacker, not a boulder, is a rock. Makes the all-freshman team. Pretty good. We are about to say goodbye to quite a few players. We have no injuries, thankfully. But again, this team, as it always does, is about to change drastically. Donnie Jepp. Of course, John Paul Jones was red shirt, so he'll be a senior next year so long as he doesn't transfer out. Red Rocket is gone at the end of this year. Ocean Gate Submarine is gone, which breaks my damn heart. At wideout, we already talked about Donnie Jepp. Captain, we're sinking. Edward Kenway, all seniors this year. Sox is the eighth dwarf at tight end. Will be gone at the end of the year. Hear me out. Also a senior. Kyle Sackrider. What's a pass? All getting ready to play their final game. Defensively. Armor abs crabs. Numb legs the second. Tugi is lames. And you can see the amount of talented freshmen that we redshirt this year as a risk. King Tugi the fourth. Precious White. At corner, she came down in a bubble dug. It was redshirted. Russ Shanspy is gone at the end of this game. Jackson Flaxen Waxen. We are losing a lot of talent at the end of this year. No doubt about that. Let's take a look at our opponents. And before that, we'll actually auto order the uh, depth chart. Just to make sure it's optimized for this game based off of upgrades. Let's take a look at Rutgers. It's not the bowl game we wanted. It's not the team that we wanted. But all we can do now is play that team in front of us. 84 rated senior quarterback Ken Pollard Wow Running back 85 Chris Jenkins And 83 injured though Robert Griffith 81 fullback Joe Bishop At wideouts the highest rated 81 Brad Freeman If we lose this game We better not have won all those games And pushed for A national title just to lose this game they are not good. 81 left tackle. Okay, the O-line is their strength. Clearly. Except there. But yeah, the O-line 
generally is their strength. They have a very good offensive line. Defensively, it doesn't start off well. 82, Chase Robbins. 84, Calvin Geary. Got Heath Brown, not very good. 282, middle linebackers. 81 on the outside, Eric Davis. We should rip their secondary apart. Cornelius Jenkins and Reggie Romero are okay. I mean, this shouldn't even be a contest. It shouldn't be. Which is why I'm insulted by the Rose Bowl game. This should be an absolute demolition. This should be an absolute demolition from us. Again, I'm kind of disrespected that they have us playing Rutgers. <laughs> we deserved a shot at Syracuse. We really did. We really, really did. A lot of alternates. In the all red. It is carnage. It is. We haven't lost since those first two games. Our fourth straight year with a bowl game. We lost the first two. We won last year. Absolutely kicked the crap out of Arkansas. And I'd like to think we'll do the same against Rutgers here, but... Hi, everybody. <sighs> this, this should be the friggin' Fiesta Bowl against Syracuse, or Syracuse should be playing us here. I, I cannot get over that in the meantime, so allow me to continue to bitch and moan about it because it's frustrating. Their freaking Hail Mary started off our season so poorly, and no matter how hard we fought, we couldn't recover from it. Then again, Fresno ran the table and got credit, so we might have had to have been undefeated. Let's hopefully... I was going to say, let's channel our inner Reggie Bush, uh, Matt Leiner, but it worked too well. So hope Red Rocket can channel his inner Vince Young. Another bowl game for Navy. And yet it's the ranking. We were number one. Not just one. Am I going to get copywritten for this music? Twitch and YouTube are always so weird. We'll mute it. Let's go. Nico, cousin, let's go bowling. This lady just fired jets out of her ass. That's impressive. I mean, we have made it to the Rose Bowl. It's a big, big game for us. We do need to at least win now that we're here. I've actually never played the Rose Bowl, I'm pretty sure. In all of our uh, dynasties that we've done, I've never played in the Rose Bowl, so. We are making history. As we will not play the full game, but I will look to return the opening kickoff. Should it be returnable, and it is for Jackson Flaxen Waxen. Oh my god, the blocking! The blocking! Jackson to the 45! The kicker held us up. He didn't quite have the speed. If that was high drop, I think we would have had it. But I forgot that it didn't put our fastest dude in. But look at the left side. Just demolished, but right here, their kicker scrambles past a block. If that guy set the edge, we were gone. Let me go back to the depth chart really quickly. <laughs> um, we need to update kick and punt return. I mean, Flaxen has 97 speed, actually, so just, yeah, I don't think he would have made it anyway. <sighs> All right. I am going to sim, though. I am going to sim. I trust the boys here. First quarter. We couldn't take advantage on that drive. Rutgers up seven. We tie it at seven. Make it 10-7 for Rutgers. The end of the first. Not great. Let's go to the half. Not often we're trailing at the end of the first. 17-7 Rutgers. 
They get the ball to start the half. 23 to 7. The offense gets set to take the field. Last Let's take over. <sighs> Under 200 yards of offense, the boys just seem unmotivated. They keep it on the ground. Good hip there by eye drop. Well, we got our work cut out for us to not blow this game. It's second and 11. Ball on the Again, it's line. not the, uh, it's not quite the game that we wanted, but I still want to win it now that we're here. And he's tackled. Good tackle again. Was that eye drop? That was Forrest Gump that time. Confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get up field for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. I don't know if their quarterback likes to take off. 14 yards would be pretty far. Good tackle for Flax and Waxen. That should force the punt. They might go for it, but coffin corner would make more sense. And yeah, they are. All right. Well, at least we got the stop. Very surprising turn of events here. Just the one touchdown for us after we handed them good field position. And it's going to force me to take the bounce. Okay. How many players opted out? That'd be really cool if that was a feature in the new game. If I just had players be like, yeah, I'm not risking injury. That'd be pretty sweet. It'd be annoying in some situations, but it would be pretty sweet. Why is open? If we can get him. Going deep, lays it out there. Intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Probably doing this again. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. Hey, well. <sighs> Shout out to Carnage. I mean, nobody was open, really. It was just try to beat, you know, the guy downfield. I mean, the, the check down, basically. The guy just overran the ball. Quarterback underthrew it, whatever you prefer, but it was there. This wasn't there for us. Now we got to send the defense right back out there. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32 yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw. And the receiver well, was I thought we had the receiver open for a quick hit. Apparently, we should have taken our time. Now we are in a little bit of trouble here, aren't we? A little bit more trouble. There we go. We don't know. I mean, their kicker wasn't that good, so they might not be in range. Forrest Gump gets to the QB. So it's second and 16. Ball on the 38. Trying to break through. They got to go for the check down. He's taken down the tackle by Ho Robinson. And we obviously need a really big stop here. A really big stop. Somehow not intercepted. It pinballed around. They're not in field goal range, so they're going to go for it. And the offense is still on the field. Playing down to our competition, we are the Pittsburgh Steelers. They elect to run, and it doesn't work. They tried to surprise us, so we do get the ball back after the pick. But uh, they killed a couple of minutes. Got the Billy Gooch. And Billy Gooch. Ocean Gate picks up eight. 
I mean, my Steelers. I'm sorry, Billy. I mean, I'm a Patriots fan. I mean, shit. You can look at your. <laughs> I'm a Patriots fan. So, I mean. You know, I gotta try to find some happiness lately. Ocean Gate Submarine! Big, big game. He finished as the runner-up for the Heisman. He would have won it had it not been for an injury. Follow you, Zap. Follow you, follows you after you rip on the Steelers. That just means it's a good dude. Though. You know? Quarterback, Red Rocket. Red Rocket making moves! And inside the 20. Ooh, how do you feel about Bill Belichick going to the Falcons? I saw Tom Brady wear a different jersey. I saw Zidane Ochara wear a different jersey. It's just... The, the, they softened the blow a bit, you know? He's tackled at about the 11. Continue to run the football. It's been the strength. Been in here for like an hour and was in here the other day. Just kind of bald. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad I finally earned it. Woo! <laughs> we tried to slide there. He got to me in time. First and goal. Our defense needs to continue to hold on. If anything, we need to force a couple of turnovers. Everyone continues to be covered. He dives and he'll be marked down. Nearly gets the touchdown. So close. Let's run the hurry up. Don't let him get the uh, Dean line in there and swap me porthole into the end zone. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We do have to go for two to make it a one possession game. With four wide receivers, the deception works. They keep it on the ground for the score. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Pitches back. And oh, what a run. Woo, the agility of the junior. He'll be back as the starter next year. Big play by Swab Me Porthole. And it is a one-possession game. Kick, plenty of distance. <sighs> we needed that. We needed that. And Cousins going to the Falcons. And you give Kirk Cousins, I mean, granted he's had weapons like Justin Jefferson, but you give him the weapons that, you know, Atlanta has. If Atlanta actually utilizes their running game a little bit consistently, who knows what might happen. Beanie, what's up? How are you? There you go. Ho. Big tackle for Ho Robinson. Down to a one possession game and Red Rocket. Strained pack. It's his final game. We're keeping him in. It is his final game. He's a senior. We are keeping him in. The hell with the consequences. Nice job by Precious White to knock that one out. Third and seven. Need a big stop here. Get to that quickly. And down he goes. The 37 yard line. Well, I hit the Y button to try and have him pick it off, and he just fucking stood there. So that's fun. Yet if I don't manually try to intercept it, sometimes they just look at it anyway. So I was really damned if I do, damned if I don't there. They hand it off. Ah, fuck. Outside after a nice pickup. Really damned if I do, damned if I don't. Gotta love hitting a button and having nothing happen. We're still down by eight, heading into the fourth. Back in this very we should have had a pick six there a minute ago. Sounds like uh, game one of the season against Syracuse, honestly. High drop, loses his man. Big gain. Oh, goodness. 
seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making yeah honestly um i was i was enjoying the stream there i haven't played baldur's gate but it was an interesting game to see him switch to so it is always funny when you raid someone and they're like oh hey it's you it's like oh that's good timing. We how can't we get there? Somebody, anybody, put your fucking hands up! What the fuck? That's twice on the same play. We should have had a pick. You hit the fucking button and he just doesn't react. What the fuck? Once is like, okay, whatever. Twice. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, back to not usering then because it's going to cost me this game. What the fuck? That is fucking insane. Oh, the button's set because we've intercepted them with said button before. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Huge goal line stand here, potentially. Frickin' justice in the world. It's third and We're gonna blitz him. Let's see if they can put this one in. We are gonna blitz him. Get him, get him, get him, let's go! There we go, boys. Much better. Ben, don't break. I'm the Matt Patricia special. They are going to push it back to a two-possession game, which sucks. Because in no way did they deserve anything on that possession. They should have thrown two picks. But we got eight and a half minutes. We got time. Ball don't lie. We're going to win this game. We are going to win this game. His own goal line. Can you set the edge? No, you can't. Well, you kind of did. It worked out in the end. We threw an interception, then we got screwed on uh, non interceptions. Swap me porthole. Pick up a four. Not bad. Thing is, we still, you know, don't have to bomb the ball downfield. We can still take our time. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Especially to our quarterback has a fucking injured peck. Might be the time to take a shot. It's not there. Jesus Christ. Shout out to Memory Castle for the five months. Not a good time for the O-line to disappear. There's never a good time. That was a particularly bad time. Quick throw out to the receiver. Edward Kenway, touchdown, Navy. Reception record. Sure, he's had some drops along the way, but he never hangs his head. Never gets down on any. As a record for William Henry Harrison falls. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. He is, in fact, Kenoff. Up the middle, Ocean Gate, three-point game. You know, normally in big games, we like to sim it out and see how it works, but damn it, I'm not going to be denied. After the AI freaking cost us against Syracuse, we're winning this game, god damn it. We are winning it. <sighs> Fair enough, Endo. It's this Fair enough. Really the the Alright, defense. One more time here. One more time. Let's go, boys! Oh, this defense is feasting right now, except for intercepting anything. Ho Robinson! Involved yet again. From their own 22 yard line. It's second down. We love ourselves some ho. 
They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. He only gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's third and 13. We're going to blitz again. Back up, give him some space. Make that tackle. It's our ball. Let's go. Let's go. In the sim, for whatever reason, Rutgers were kicking the crap out of us, but on the field when we're in control. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry. We have them outmatched. Appalachian State just beat Clemson in a bowl game. Jesus Christ. Remember the days of Boston College where Clemson was a huge problem? Oh, well, we tried the cut. Didn't work. Didn't really get good blocking there. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Well, I come on. Expect to see this at all. Both teams Let's do it again. I misread it. He takes it right side. <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter when you have Marshawn Lynch reincarnate at running back. Big play for Ocean Gate Submarine, who again hasn't gotten too many carries in this game. It's a bit surprising. No mistake this time, and a first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Liking that. Slides down. Continue to protect our quarterback the best we can. Tennessee beat USC. How did I just notice that? So it's second down and about two yards. Keep killing him with the option. They're not leaving us anything open passing wise, so. Kill him with the option. Good job by the quarterback, though, to at least get a yard. One thing the coaches always say about this soft. Well, we're in two down territory here for sure. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays. So not leaving much open. Has some daylight. Gets out to around the 25. There we go. Whew. The mascot hitting the robot. Jesus Christ. Ball on the 25 yard line. What is dangerous is if we were to turn the ball over here. He's into the open field. Horrible missed block by 70. We should have gotten a hell of a lot more than three. Thankfully, no turnover, no injury. Uh, yeah, the right bumper's not really open here either. Ocean Gate only gets four. It's third and three. Obviously, we want the first down. If we don't get it, we do have to take the field goal. They're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A is open. That is not the play that I wanted, but it could work. Quick pass. Send Donnie Jepp. Send him out. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. I should have gone to the underneath instead of that guy. I thought we had him, though. Kicks up, and it sails through the upright. We tie the game. I really thought we had the first down there. Especially, too, it's our best wideout that we threw the ball to, so we can't be too mad about it. Well, we've done well to battle back, but we still have to clutch it at the end. Our defense has been great. There's no goddamn way if there's an interception bid that I'm switching to the secondary. I'll tell you that right now. Things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's scrambling. Just throws this one away. I wish that one dude would have adapted. That linebacker could have crushed him. We're just going to keep blitzing. They haven't been able to handle it so far. was one of the worst play calls I've ever seen. 
Where the hell did he think he was going? It's third and 13. Like, did they fail the handoff? What the hell happened? Less than three minutes in the game. Somebody missed their coverage. Somebody missed their coverage. I'm not sure who. Right there. We had a linebacker on him. And he got roasted. Baseball, I'm not sure. It's first down. On play action. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. Keep blitzing. Keep putting pressure on that quarterback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41 yard line. <laughs> okay. All right. Bit scary, but all right. So we're looking at another third down here. Boys. That gives him a third down. We just cannot hold man coverage, apparently. Clearly in the zone. The defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their fuck, defense fuck, fuck. to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. And so much for the bowl game jitters. Just a great performance today by this young man. Start mixing it up in the zone blitz here. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Get him. Let's go. Swabby deckhand. Woo. Another big play. Zone blitz from here. Fucking zone blitz from here. And a quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 32 yard line. And for Pollard, he's just notched a new school record for single season passing. He's taken apart every secondary they've faced. And now he's got this That's bad. <laughs> That's real bad. From the 32 yard line. First down. That is really, really bad. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. That's better. That makes it second and ten. Here's play number ten on the drive. Here's a quick throw. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. I might as well challenge it. I'll lose a timeout, but I might as well. Maybe it gives it back. There's no reason not to challenge at this point and just hope for the best. We might as well. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Yep. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Watch out for a pass. Just gonna hope the quarterback fumbles, basically, or the running back. He didn't. Navy's gonna have to use their second time out of the half. I do have to let him score. I have no choice. It's second and 12. Fuck. 14-yard line. Just over a minute left. 
They ran it again. Wasting that timeout is going to cost us. I did think there was a chance they weren't going to get it, but they're going to run again. Well, we won't have too much time, that's for sure. The defense here gives some yards up, but they do set up a fourth down. But that's one of those plays where those failed the interceptions by the on the and the one interception we threw really coming back to haunt us. As they tick away our time because we used it on a challenge. I hope that we got it back, but I mean, this was, they were always going to get the field goal, even if we didn't waste the challenge. 19 seconds. And with time winding down, they probably won't 19 seconds. He just drills this we got to return it. We got to hope for the best. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 20. <sighs> and they couldn't really hold the edge. What the defense is looking at and what they're going to be doing. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else, maybe on this drive, ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Going deep, lays it out there. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He wants it all going long. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some... We're going to lose because the defense finally gave in. That's unbelievable. Play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Well, you can see the elation. That's it. Defensive coordinator side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game. All of that. Spot in this fourth quarter. Just to lose in the fucking Rose Bowl to Rutgers. Take the win. 29-26. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Navy had plenty of chances to win this football game. can do now is try to bounce back after a close We end our season as it began by fucking blowing it late in the game. That's horrific. His great performance earns him our players. That is absolutely horrific to lose the Rutgers. The prestigious 10 win category for the season. And for the midshipmen, they drop only their third game of the year, making their record 11 and 3. Like we can't even be happy with an 11 and 3 season just because of how we absolutely blew it. I've talked about the first two games plenty. The interception certainly didn't help on our first possession, but our defense just could not come up clutch on that last drive after we tied it. They just couldn't. And unfortunately, utilizing that timeout the way we did was a mistake. But if they didn't get that first down, I don't think they would have been in field goal range. Whereas we knew they were getting the field goal at the end. I ran a fucking special teams set up on one play and they still ran the ball. I tried to let them score. What a shit way to end this season. We were down like what? Freaking 23 to 7 when we tried to come back. Just what a shit, shit way to lose. That's just, that's a bummer. And Rocket certainly didn't have a good game before we took over. Ocean Gate wasn't as involved on the run. Like, we barely had the football offensively from what I'm seeing. 
our offense was a shell of itself in terms of the control that they normally have of the game, the amount of plays and just the possession that they have. They just didn't show up when we simmed. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, Rutgers had our number. As Syracuse beats Illinois. A horrible start. A great middle. And a brutal, brutal ending. That sucks.